welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. Interleague baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Eric Fetty. Well, this guy's got sort of a tweener. Not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between, and he adds and subtracts velocity down. on it, which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. And a pitch. Nico nope. Horner, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. front with the swing and that is strike one. one, and one. That one is absolutely belted. And in one hops the wall. Benintendi hustles to get it in. Runner holds it second so another base hit could get us the first run of the game. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Double into the gap and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. Just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. Seiya Suzuki will hit next. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. It misses. It's a strikeout. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. In half up to hit. Right through there for a strike. Oh and one. One out. The go-ahead run is its second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And a base hit on the line. Horner flies around third. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. One down, runner at first. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Runner on the go. That one to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Runners at first and third. Dansby Swanson stands in. Misses yep, off the play. Out. Ball one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two on, one out. And well, that's, that's off the, the inside edge. Now 2-0. Right-hander kicks deals. Outside, Just missed. Ball. And there's the automatic. First and third, one down. And 
And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch with the best pitch you possibly can and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Got him swinging. Well, he showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there, not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there, and it gets away and it hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch. Christopher Morell in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two on, two outs. And a big swing and a miss. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. And that's down and away. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. They limit the damage here. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Cubs one and the White Sox nothing. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field. Pitching for the Cubs in this one, Justin Steele. Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. Bottom of the first. Andrew Benatendi steps up. up. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. That one misses, and it's one to know. And now the lefty. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Up the middle, Swanson. In plenty of time to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. Already trailing by a run in this one. They'll be looking to get on the scoreboard early on as well. Well, it's just the one run, so not too big a hill to climb, but yeah, if they can answer back in this inning or at least in the next couple, that'll maybe settle everyone into this ball game, and that includes their own start on the mound. Andrew Vaughn now. Right through there for a strike. The wind of the pitch. This one driven deep, way back there, and it's gone. We are tied. He powers that one out of here, and we have a tie ball game. It's 1 1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. fastball by him but he was ready for it look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch so it's all tied up thanks to the home run Luis Robert now he was late there strike one part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage one out, base is empty. Now 
next pitch not strike. close up high. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Mark Leiter Jr. getting loose out there. Number 43, a left-hander, also throwing. Fastball for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Pitch misses. Two and two. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. That one hit to right. Suzuki has a beat on it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. It's a good recovery though that after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that. Here is Yohan Moncada. And there's a foul ball. That's the third. Magical. Tosses to first. And the inning is over. But the White Sox get one on a homer. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here on the south side, here's Jan Gomes. The pitch. And that's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. And another ball. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Late swing, fouled off. Jan Gomes waits. Bounce to the left side. Whips it across. And quickly one away in the second. The first baseman, Michael. And next for the Cubs, Michael Bush. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Looks like he's sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. 0-1 now. And there's a the ball. Fought off foul. Man at second. Pop up here, third base side. Squeezes it, and there's two away. Batting up. The third baseman, number one. Here's Nick, Nick Madrigal. Madrigal. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. And fouled off. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Man on second, two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and deals. Ball. One ball, two strikes, again. Not two close balls, with that two one. Strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss, struck him out. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here on the south side, Aloy Jimenez now. 
the oh, how defense. he'd love to walk it off right here. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swing and a miss as he was late. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses. Now one and two. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Batting fifth. The right and field. next to hit for the Sox, Dominic, Dominic Fletcher. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. He takes a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Off the mark there. One and two to count. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Pitches in there. It's 0-1. Winning run in scoring position with two away. Bottom half of inning number two. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0 and 2. That's down and in. On the ground to third. Madrigal on to first, and the White Sox go quietly. The White Sox leave one. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. And we're back. We New inning start. getting started. And yeah, the batter the now, Nico Horner. Nico Horner. The right-hander back to work. And a good eye there. Out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And the throws offline, safe at third. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. So runners at the corners, nobody out. And next for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. First offering, and it just misses. The pitch. Ripped to third and caught. Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Swings through that one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And ball one. 
One ball, two strikes. Fights that one away, still one and two. Roll the short, possible two ball. There's one on the ball, two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back at guaranteed right go. field, Four bottom of the ball. inning. Nicky Lopez the up to the plate. Nicky Lopez. Steel back to work. There's a strike. Hey. Big swing and a miss. Oh, and two. One gone, bottom of the third inning. I don't know what he's looking for right there. You have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. Maldonado. Martin Maldonado up to hit. That one missed. Winning run at second with one away here in the last half of the third. Bounced out to short. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. to the top of the White Sox lineup. Andrew Benintendi steps to the plate for the White Sox. In there at the knees. Going one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. De Young on second. Maldonado at first. One gone. And that's in the dirt. Yeah, there's a ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Two balls, one strike. Two on, one out. Late swing, foul to the left. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. So first and second with two outs. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. He's already homered here in this one. The hit behind with that swing. It's strike one. First and second, two down. Next pitch is outside. Dives and he can't hang on. To first and he beats it, everyone's safe. Well, with his speed, he doesn't get a whole lot of those infield hits, but he was giving it everything he had right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allow himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Two outs, bases full, and now it's Luis Robert. That's in there.
Oh, this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. He powers that one out of here. And they will walk it off. Grand Slam is exciting no matter what part of the game you hit it. But a walk-off Grand Slam, an incredible finish. Clutch swing of the bat that he'll never forget. Truly special. Five one is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from the south side of Chicago.